to do that. I want to be eating 2,500 calories and look like that. All right, guys, here we go. I am one week into our reverse diet. We have cut my cardio more than in half and we have upped my food and my carbs by literally almost twice as much and I hit a new low weigh-in today. So make sure you guys stay tuned for this video. Talk to you a little bit about what a reverse diet is, why I'm doing it, and how to properly execute. With all that being said though, first I'm gonna go hit my workout, then I'll get back to you guys about reverse dieting. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. So today is one of the videos that I have probably gotten the most requests about in the past year, literally since I have made my Instagram and made my YouTube. And I did kind of cover on this topic quite a bit ago when I reverse dieted in the past, but a lot of people ask me when you kind of hit a plateau or after you've been in a dieting phase, what's the best thing for you to do? And if you guys have been watching my recent series, you guys know that I just came off of a NPC bikini show prep, which means you're bringing your caloric intake down, doing a lot more cardio and putting a lot more stress on your body in order to lose body fat. So a lot of people go through a dieting phase and they think, you know, oh, I have to cut my calories, I have to, do all this extra cardio and a lot of the times especially as women that's one of those things that we're told that we have to do in order to lose body fat so you know I have a lot of people come to me who are clients a lot of people who just come to me on Instagram and ask me okay like I'm eating such a low intake I'm doing all this cardio and I'm not losing fat and another thing is a lot of people just kind of hit this plateau so where do you go next <laughs> and the one thing that I've talked a lot about on my Instagram recently is doing a reverse diet. So a lot of you guys might be wondering what the heck is a reverse diet? Why are you doing it, Kendall? Why should I possibly do it? And so basically a reverse diet is just exactly what the name of it is. You've been in a dieting phase and what you need to be doing is reversing that dieting phase. So when you cut, obviously you don't just go from zero to a hundred real quick, you go and you cut down your calories week by week. If you're tracking macros, maybe cutting 20 to 30 grams of carbs, cutting your fats, maybe upping your cardio a little bit. And what this really does when you go into a cutting phase like this is it's gonna increase what's called your cortisol levels. And your cortisol levels are a stress hormone that is in your body. And basically, um, you know, if your cortisol levels are too high, then your body is pretty susceptible to just kind of shutting off its fat loss hormones um, and your your leptin and ghrelin levels are kind of misplaced which is um, the hunger hormones that are responsible for aiding in fat loss. So when you are in this cutting phase for so long and I just went through about an 18 week cutting phase, I ended up getting my macros down really really low. I was on about 1200 calories a day. I was doing 40 minutes of cardio. Some days I was doing it twice a day and that's a prep so that's extreme. So what should you do after you've been cutting for this long or after you've done a competition? And one thing is I highly recommend getting some kind of accountability. I put the majority of my clients who come to me who are at a really low intake and a lot of girls who are looking to put on this lean muscle mass and they want to be lean but they also want to be like eating all of this food um they come to me and they're eating like a really low in intake something that's very inadequate for a female their size their age their height all of that um and they're like why am i not losing any fat and the reason is you've pretty much just adapted your metabolism to such a low intake your stress levels on your body physiologically are probably extremely high and your insulin sensitivity might be off as well as like i said your leptin and ghrelin levels so your goal with a reverse diet is to slowly increase your intake so that physiologically you can restore your hormones, physiologically um, your body is just functioning at an optimal level so that your body can burn fat eventually and also um, you know you want to be putting on more muscle mass. So the one thing that is with doing a reverse diet is just really focusing on the physiological functions of your body because so many people who are starting off at such a low intake are like okay I want to cut fat and it's like you're never going to cut fat unless you get your metabolism and your physiological functions to an optimal place in order to do so so basically what is a reverse diet okay so reverse diet 
what I'm just going into right now after my prep. You're slowly going to increase your caloric intake as well as most likely taper off of cardio in order to get your physiological functions performing optimally again. So everybody is very different. This is something that's super individualized to each human being and we all go at different rates. So with me, because I just came off of a prep, essentially what me and my coach have done is kind of put me at a little bit more of a maintenance phase for the first week coming off of my show prep. Now, if you guys followed my last few videos, you know I was eating about 80 carb a day, um, 50 fat, and about 120 protein. So this week we have went right up to what would be my maintenance, which is about 150 carb, 50 fat, and 120 protein. Now keep in mind, this is a very low maintenance, and the reason is because I'm a very low body fat percentage. I've been cutting for sep or 18 weeks, so you know my old maintenance used to be about twice that amount, whereas now my maintenance is a lot lower because my NEAT is lower, which is just my total daily energy expenditure, um, and my basal metabolic rate, all of those things are a lot lower because I have less energy, so I'm expending less energy, my lifts aren't as great. Whereas when you start a reverse diet, you'll start to see that you're fidgeting a little bit more, you're moving around a little bit more because you have more energy, so your NEAT and your total daily energy expenditure is going to be a lot more. Therefore, you're probably gonna burn a few more calories. So your maintenance gets a little bit higher each time when you obviously put on more mass on your body. So we've kind of gone right up to what my maintenance would be right now, and we've also tapered off of cardio. Now, I'm still kind of in a caloric deficit with that cardio as well, but my cortisol levels have actually gone down a lot, I believe, because I actually hit a new low weight this week, and that's just because it's the first week of my reverse diet. So um, the first week you can kind of, the first few weeks you can kind of expect to be a little bit stagnant as far as weight goes, um, which is kind of cool because you're eating more food, doing less cardio, but your body's kind of um, still responding in a really good way. And then what you want to do is according to, you know, I would definitely say get a, getting a coach is really, really important when doing a reverse diet because you want to set one day each week where you're kind of sitting down, evaluating your body, seeing what your body did that entire week. So let's say that you increase by 20 grams of carbs one in one week. Let's pick Thursday's my check-in day. So on Thursday, I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to write down how I'm feeling, my hormones, stress level, sleep, all of those things. And then the following Thursday, take pictures with that increase in my in my macros and then see where my body kind of responded and then from there you just want to slowly increase your intake and possibly slowly taper off of cardio so that your body can put on that lean muscle mass so that you can restore your physiological functions until eventually when you're eating in more of a caloric surplus so that you can put on more body mass and for me my goal with my reverse diet is to basically just keep building and building and building and building until I'm in a caloric surplus and I'm gonna be putting on lean body mass. I'm also gonna be putting on fat. That's really essential, like I said, for your body to be performing optimally. Um, and that's just one of those things that you have to accept when you're going into something like a reverse diet um, or like a lean bulk. So, you know, a lot of people see these pictures of girls where it's like on the left, they're eating like 1200 calories and like are like skinny fat. And then on the right, they're eating like 2,500 calories and like super jacked and like pretty ripped and <laughs> they claim it to be like a reverse diet and everyone's like I want to do that I want to be eating 2,500 calories and look like that and the thing is guys over time you have to build your metabolism up to that you can't just go from eating the intake that you're at at 1,200 calories and go straight up to 2,500 calories you have to give your body time to adjust your metabolism time to adjust and obviously as you're putting on more mean lean muscle mass your body is going to be able to handle more food your body is going to be need to intaking a little bit more energy because you're going to probably be expending more energy with your lifts um, and also you need to be eating more of a caloric surplus in order for you to put on muscle mass. So you guys kind of have to realize right now my body's at such a small point, like I'm very lean, um, extremely lean actually, to the point where it's not even that healthy. Um, and so obviously as I grow over time, my, my maintenance level is going to increase because I'm going to be putting on more body mass. So that's why I definitely recommend checking in on a weekly basis and going very slow with a reverse diet after you've kind of found your maintenance um, in order to put on that lean body mass, in order to gain weight. So, um, you know, if you've hit a plateau and you find that your body, you can't lose any more fat, you know, you really just don't know where to turn. 
the thing is you're probably not eating enough food so you want to do something like a reverse diet where you can slowly just get your intake back up help you put on more lean body mass um, help you you know be able to expend more energy throughout the day and have you know feeling better and like I said, everyone goes at a different rate. Everyone's bodies are different. For me, I usually thrive on adding 10 to 15 carbs a week, maybe five grams of fat every two weeks. Um, and protein, I would keep it right above body weight or right at body weight, um, you know, depending on what your goal may be. But you have to be as progressive as you want to be. You know, last, last year we were so progressive. Some weeks we jumped up 50 grams of carbs in one week. Some weeks we just jumped up 20 grams. Sometimes we just kept it at maintenance for the week just to kind of see where my body would go from there. So everyone is super individualized, but I definitely would say if you wanna be doing, if you wanna be, you know, coming off of a show prep and you don't, you wanna avoid things like binges, you want to stay relatively lean but put on body mass, then um, doing a reverse is gonna be for you. So, um, you know, like I said, everyone's individual, it's progressive, and I highly recommend getting someone to hold you accountable in order for you to <laughs> succeed with it. Because when you do reverse diet, your metabolic rate is gonna increase, which means a lot of the time you get a lot hungrier. I've already kind of had like these little tendencies where I'm like, crap, I just wanna eat the world right now. I wake up sweating in the middle of the night because my metabolism's increasing, and it's kind of crazy just to see what effects can come out of a reverse diet. So. Um, definitely getting someone to hold you accountable and be able to help you through it is so so important and if you guys need any kind of help like that um, you guys can find my email down below you can always apply for coaching um, but I would definitely recommend getting some help with that so these are my tips if you want to do a reverse diet guys if you've hit a plateau this is something that's going to be for you if you've come out of a really harsh cutting phase and your stress levels on your body are really high then I definitely recommend this. If your intake is really low and you're looking to cut and you have nothing really to cut from, then this is what you need to be doing with your body. And there's a lot of controversy out there whether you should reverse diet or not. But from personal experience, guys, this is what has worked for me and I absolutely thrived on my last reverse diet. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm gonna be posting and keeping you guys updated on my whole entire reverse diet all the way up until I pretty much do another like little mini cut or whatever it might be in the future, but stay tuned and make sure that you guys are watching along so that you can kind of see the progressions that we make on my body and how that can help you out. If you guys haven't liked this video already, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't hit, miss another video with me guys. And I love you all. Thanks for watching. Peace and blessings.